Yo, Chunky Bunch. This thing's spooky as hell, man. I hope I make it. If for some reason I don't make it, make sure you tell my kids. Ah! Yo, black cherry, no, not what I'm looking for, yeah, boy. What kind of burger do you want, can I get you? Do you have the Nightmare King? Yeah. Can I get one of them? Do you want the Nightmare King and a meal, or just by itself? No, ma'am, just by itself. Is that everything? That is everything. 11, 19, that's what definitely thinking. Perfect, you. thank you. They got it, boy. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. I'm your host, Mr. Corey Styles, like always. Chunky Bunch, welcome to another video. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for tuning in. If you're the one dude who thinks it's cool to put a thumbs down, thanks for the view. Joke's on you. <laughs> Today, I'm doing a review from Burger King. Now, I know what you're saying. Styles, you just fixed that boycott. You just got it. You're right. You're absolutely correct. I did just end the boycott, and it's important that you know that I went to another different Burger King. I had to do this review kind of at night in kind of a spooky place. I thought of doing it in a cemetery, but I thought the only place more scary to do this than the cemetery is the church parking lot. So that's where we're at right now. Burger King has the nightmare burger. This burger is supposed to be so terrifying that it is supposed to increase the likeliness of you having a nightmare after eating it by three and a half times. So that's 350% increase on possibility of having a nightmare just by consuming this sandwich. <sighs> It's time to get into it. For starters, I thought it would come in like a little box. Seems like it would, it didn't. This burger was $6.49. You hear that? Yo. We opening it anyway. So it has a green bun, onion, mayo, bacon, crispy chicken patty, and a quarter pound king patty. I didn't get the Whopper from last time, the black Whopper that was supposed to make your poop turn green. I didn't get it. Now this is a green king bun. I hope it don't make your poop turn green because that stuff kind of freaks me out. <laughs> All right, this is the Nightmare King from Burger King. So the chubby dude in me loves everything about this burger. The fact that there's a greasy patty underneath fried chicken greasy patty, underneath bacon, crunchy, greasy, underneath some onions with some fatty old mayo on top. Everything chunky about me says that this is delicious. I'm gonna be honest with you too though. It's not easy to eat. It's not easy to open your mouth up to get it on there. Pause. But it tastes delicious, bro. Mmm. The green bun is gimmicky and I don't mind. Now this burger was like $6.49, that's quite a bit, but it's a burger and a chicken sandwich. For the Thick and Chunky Show, Mr. Corey Styles, I'm gonna grade the Nightmare King from Burger King. I'm gonna give it a flat A. Now, hear me out a little bit. This is not something that I would eat probably more than one time. The combination of the beef and chicken is amazing. This is delicious, it's a monstrosity. No wonder it gives fools nightmares, man. Probably increases your blood pressure so high that you can't think straight, but it's delicious. So taste-wise, gimmick-wise, the whole thing, I'm gonna give it an A. I would recommend that the Burger King by your place is serving this, and as long as it's not the one on Powell and Foster in Portland, Oregon, I would say get it, man. I'd, I'd pull the trigger on it. Now, I don't know if it's gonna give me a nightmare. I'm gonna have to wait till tonight to figure that out. You got to tune in to the next video to figure that out. But it is 350% more likely to happen based upon Burger King's clinical test that they did. Mmm. That's an A. Mm. I got one last absolutely terrifying thing to try for you. What? 
I've been carrying these things around with me for a couple weeks, trying to find the perfect time to try them. It's starting to rain. I love the rain, man. That's what I love about Oregon, the rain, bro. This is ghost pepper candy. Blue raspberry candy with ghost pepper infused in it. I got this from Vat19. I seen them do it on main event pong. They were trying to eat the whole thing. Now this is hard candy. I'm not gonna try to eat the whole thing, but I am gonna try a piece and let you know how hot it is. See, you can see the ghost peppers infused in it. This is ghost pepper candy, blue raspberry flavor from VAT19. It's hot right when it touches my tongue. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I love spice, but I'm terrible at it. This is tough because you have to keep it in your mouth. Tough on your teeth. Got blue tongue. It's definitely hot. It's not nearly as hot as the hot chocolates that I had, not nearly as hot as the Burner Bliss Challenge or the world's hottest chocolate, but it's a kick in the pants, bro. If you're a beginner to spice and you think it'd be kind of funny to get a really hot candy, try this ghost pepper candy. It's not scorching hot, but it's hot. I can still feel it. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. Woo! Once again, thank you for tuning into the Thick and Chunky Show. Please make sure you like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you aren't already and you are interested in the content that I provide. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you tuning in. Y'all be safe out there. Get you that Nightmare King. Maybe get some of that ghost pepper candy. Peace.